So this is going to be the third tutorial in our Legend of Zelda uh, series. And so uh, what we did last time was we animated uh, Link so that he was, uh, you know, able to move around the map, but he was not confined to the areas in which he should have been. And so what we're going to do uh, now is we're going to take the code that we had last time. And so this is what, you know, you currently have. We're going to take that code and now we're going to add collision. And so we're going to be colliding with this map, which is right here. And so anything that is not a two is stuff that we're going to collide with for right now. Eventually we may want to make this 28, among many other things, uh, non-collidable, such as like sand and the graveyard gray dirt and stuff like that. But for right now, we're just worried about two. And then we'll uh, um, add more as it goes along. Um, so um, what we want to do right now is we want to create a new function. And we're just going to call it collision. It's going to take in an x, a y, and whatever map. Okay. And um, inside collision, it's just going to be we're, we're looping over this map. And so we need uh, two, two for loops, just like we have right here. And in fact, because it is just like we have right here, I'm just going to copy these because um, these, four, these uh, nested for loops right here um, is exactly what we need um, for our collision as well. And so collision, um, it's just a few if statements, really. So here we're going to say if map at i j is not equal to 2. Well, if it's not equal to 2, that means we could be colliding with it. We might be colliding with it. And so what we want to know is if we're actually colliding with it. So we're just going to do a, a, a nested if statement here that says if x is less than or equal to j times 16 plus 16, and um, x is uh, x plus 12. And here you, you kind of have to play with these numbers because if we did it the exact dimensions of link, then um, it's going to be very tough uh, to move around the map because you'd have to be exact. And in fact, since it's uh, greater than or equal to, uh, you wouldn't be able to move about the map very well. And so here you have to give Link um, uh, his uh, sprite a little leeway on both sides. And so that's what we're doing here. And so here we're just going to say uh, is uh, greater than or equal to uh, j times 16. And then we're going to say uh, y plus 10 is less than or equal to i times 16 plus 16, and y plus 16 is uh, greater than or equal to i times 16. And so um, we're just going to return true. And I should probably explain this a little bit better. Um, so after this for loop, so if we never return true in the for loop, we're just going to return false at the end. So basically, this x and y are not exactly where Link is standing. Um, it could be a projection of where we want Link to be standing. So we're maybe it's two pixels away. We want to be able to move two pixels if there's not something uh, blocking our way. And so this is exactly what this code is doing. First, we're seeing if something could be blocking our way. And then we're seeing if our x and y is um, colliding with um, one of the map elements. Now, um, we could do um, some different types of collision here. Uh, but rectangle, rectangle collision for Zelda is, is fine. Uh, we may want to do some pixel-perfect collision for the enemies later on. Uh, but right now, um, like I said, uh, even with, with our sword attack and stuff like that, 
uh, rectangle rectangle collision is going to be um, is going to be fine. Um, and so this concludes the the collision uh, function. However, um, what we want to look at now is we want to be able to use this collision. Now we don't want to just call collision like we've done down here uh, because um, you know that's not going to do us any good. We want to use this collision in conjunction with our movement to see if he should if he can get to a spot we want him to get to. Um, and so I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to come up here. And so uh, right here inside of left press, what we're going to do is we're going to add an, a double ampersand, which means we want, if it's left pressed and, there is not a collision. So for not, we're just going to use an exclamation point uh, in front of, uh, exclamation mark in front of this collision. And we're going to say, uh, this is our projection, remember? And so our projection is this link x minus speed, okay? So I'm just going to say link x minus speed. And this is our link y, mink y, <laughs> uh, link y. And our map is actually uh, the, the, the only level that we have, the only map that we have, and that's going to be... Um, this map right here, map 7, 7. And so here we're just going to say map 7 underscore 7. Now this is going to change very soon, um, and we're going to have more maps. That's going to happen in our next episode. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And after right pressed, we're going to do the same thing, except now our projection is a positive direction. And um, so for up press, we're going to do the same thing. And now we're no longer doing um, link x, we're doing link y. And I'm just going to copy this again. And so now we are going, the link y is going in a positive direction, so we're just going to change the sign of this. And we should be good, okay? Um, so we're just checking whether we can get to somewhere and whether there's a collision in getting there. And so let's, okay, what kind of errors are we getting here? Quite a few. Uh, level is not defined. I think I just, um, well, um, I probably should have, oh, this was a uh, level and we just copied it. And this is map. Okay, so here, instead of level, I'm sorry about that. Um, we just need to do map right here. And uh, so now we should be okay. And so now we're, we're walking around and uh, we are able to collide with our surrounding. Uh, so this is exactly what we want. Now, this is kind of how Link actually looks in the game as well because he can go, his head can partially go into um, blocks that should be blocking him and it blocks like from his body down and so this is uh, pretty much exactly like it looks like in the game and uh, you know he's walking around he can still walk off the board off the the map uh, because there's nothing you know preventing him from just keep on going after this point um, but everything looks great and so um, in our next video we're going to actually go inside the cave and, um, you know, see what's in there. We all know what's in there, okay? Uh, but we want uh, to do, be able to make a map transition from this map to this map, okay? And so that's what we got in store for our uh, next tutorial. Um, in that one, um, it should be a, a little bit lengthier than this, but I, I didn't want to just throw collision and map transitions and everything into, um, you know, the same, the same video because it would have been massive. So um, I know this one's a little short, but, um, you know, if you liked and, um, you know, uh, enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the, um, you know, like and subscribe button. And, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video.